Hey guys and welcome back to the second episode of my series, the Let's Play of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I just paused it at the end of the last episode uh, after watching the recording, because I'm recording it all in one night basically, and re uploading it as and when, normally on the Fridays. Um, I fiddled about with the sound settings, hopefully should be a bit, because obviously I felt I, my, char uh, my character, I was a bit quiet in the first recording, so I've turned myself up a little bit, turned the game down a little bit, so we'll see. It's um, trial and error, trial and error, we'll get there. Uh, let's jump right back in to what we were doing. There's a lot of, ambi lot of ambience and like background noises. Oh, looks like we're traveling through hyperspace, which is interesting. Something I forgot to mention last episode is massive shout out to Kate for actually buying the game for me, because I wasn't actually planning on this. Is it an instrument? Is that banjo? Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, chills. all. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. It's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. Oh, chills. Chills, chills, chills. I'm so invested. Wide animation as well. Oh, I'm so here for this. <laughs> it's like the films. It's like I'm playing the Star Wars film. This is Bagana. A Jedi I knew discovered it before Ooh. the purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists. No. So, what's the plan? Will you hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. Oh, who it be? May the force be with you. Oh! <laughs> contain, contain. The music, the music. Contain. Who is it? Who's the someone I need to meet? Oh. Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does he here <gasps> need me? Who's this? Who's this? Oh! Oh my god. Wait, can I slow one of them? Oh my god, what the hell are those? They're like little Eevees from Pokemon. Oh, they won't let me go near them. I want to try and slow one. Oh, no, I don't draw one like the same one. I don't think you can sheath it. Does it sheath on its own? Oh, I think one of the buttons I press sheaths it. Um... 
Right. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, a massive thank you to Kate for buying me this game. Because I wasn't going to get it. I was going to wait for some reviews and stuff before picking it up. But she bought it for me, so I'm very grateful. Sorry, I'm taking in my surroundings a little bit. So this, as you can probably tell, this is ultra-wide gameplay as I have an ultra-wide monitor. So you can see more of what's going on. But obviously, it's not always the best because of the... Um, obviously, you guys watching a smaller screen. Which means that it cuts off, it, it's like, got black bars at the top and bottom. Uh, my long term plan is to get a 16, nine, a 16 to 9 aspect ratio screen for Christmas. Christmas, sorry. This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Save points are located throughout cast journey, make touch to interact with them to save your progress. Save points where Cal can rest and spend skill points to require new skills. Ooh, okay, alright. Oh, it's telling me what to spend my skill point on. Alright. Um. Oh. Whoa, what even is that? It's a powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemy, uses the force. Okay. Uh, force achievement, maximum force is increased. Cal's maximum life is increased. Dashes are forwards and attacks his target, jumping while dashing. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Kick, sprint, strike. Holding slow allows Cal to slow his target for longer duration. Leaping slash. Maximum life is increased. Superior blocking. I'm so here for this. I'm so here for this. The skill tree looks a bit on the small side, I will admit, if this is all of it. But uh, I guess, you know, we'll see how we'll see how it works. It does look a bit on the small side, but we'll see. Um, okay. Rest. What does resting do? Life and force have been restored. Enemies have respawned. Huh. It's very Dark Souls. Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi. These kids. Hold on. You know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Oh my god, it's adorable. He's adorable. Did you just slice that? He's adorable. Thanks. Okay, I wanna quickly head back this way to see if I missed anything. Um, can I grab onto this? No. No is the answer. Okay, cool. Let's just continue onward. Oh. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Kate buy me the game. That was pretty much the end of that conversation. I thank her greatly for Seer it. Mentioned. Oh man. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be hey, it's there. Borderlands now. We're looking in vaults. <laughs> New objective added to Hollow Map. Reach the vault. Your current objective can all be always be seen on BD One's hollow map. Try experimenting with the hollow map control. Oh no, this looks confusing. Uh, move, zoom, rotate. Okay, so this looks like okay, and then this is where we need to go. Right. The hollow map also shows unexplored pathways and important landmarks. Ooh, I really like that. That means I won't get lost, basically. I won't get lost very easily in games. Because hollow map, I'm ready to proceed. I'm gonna go this way. Quickly. Oh my god, the little creatures on this game are amazing. I sense something over here. What is it?
for these enemies. It's a really big bug. Yeah. That's the overhead strike. Ow! Yeah. Um, okay, so how would you open the whole map again? BD1 is busy. Busy doing what? Do we have to be next to him or something to use it? Or... Damn it. Uh, okay, let's try that again. No way through here. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. Oh, All right, okay. maybe I'll listen to you next time. <laughs> no way through here. Does this mean like I can't get through that just yet? Maybe I haven't learned the ability for it. I think that's like from what I've heard, that's how the game type of, sort of works. I keep pressing the the touchpad to open the map, which I thought might do it, but it keeps saying BD1 is busy, so I guess that's not what it is. Uh, let's go this way then, which I assume is the path that I was meant to take. Okay, dropping frames for some reason. Um, Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. Is it plain? Whoa! Oh my god, that's cool. How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? <laughs> okay, so I can save. Does it save automatically or do I have to rest here for it to save? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it saves automatically or not. And again, is that something that I can't go to just yet or something? Uh, what's up here? I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. <laughs> can I sell those fans? Yeah, I can. That was really not smart. Quickly recover after being knocked down. Yeah, that's not going to help. Hmm. What be this? There's something over there. It's blue and shiny and I want it. <laughs> okay, let me slow the fan down. Walk through. What is this place? Um, I'm confused. If I jump down off here, just drop. And then slow the main fan. Okay, you can't swim. Uh, you can't swim. <laughs> That's interesting news to know. Oh, okay, up here. Uh, and up here? No. No, I'm giving up on it. I'm, I'm gonna assume that you can't yet. Fan. Slip through. Jump up onto here. BD1 is busy. Okay. I'm really upset. Okay, how do I open the hollow map? Customer. Ooh. Okay. I did get some stuff. Controls. Map? Yeah, it says map. And that's how you open the map. Apparently not. Doesn't want to open the map for me. Fair. The music's cute. I like it. I'm a fan. Let's go this way. L1, hold to illuminate with your lightsaber. Okay. This is dark and creepy. <laughs> Through there, right? Yeah, it looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Huh. Hello, friend. Does he just one shot me? When you die, you lose all your XP gained since your last skill point. Damaging the enemy who killed you will restore your lost XP and refill your life and force to the maximum. So this game on Jedi Master difficulty is um, difficult. Right, okay, let's try this again. Uh, sort of stressing, because if I 
I'm gonna struggle like this the whole way. Then I'm gonna have to turn the difficulty down. He's literally just nearly one shot, mate. He's literally nearly one shot, mate. Oh, I only have to damage him. Okay, that's cool. Nah, he's fully got me again. He's fully got me again. Right, okay. That's an undodgeable. Right, third time's the charm. I'm gonna hopefully not get absolutely screwed up this time. Never mind. He's ridiculous. I might come back to him, you know, at another point in time. I think I'll come back to him. That's ridiculous. He literally is just eating me up. I'm either really bad at the game or that's ridiculously difficult. I'm going to wait until... Oh, can I try it? Actually, one more time. I'm going to try I'm going to try and slow him and then attack him and then move away. Let's go, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can slow him. Nah. Nah. I really ain't here for this. Coming back to him, coming back to him at some point. I can't cope with that, that's ridiculous. My issue is difficulty. I've put it on one off top, and I'm not saying I'm bad at games, but also I don't want to make a let's play for you guys where I'm literally just trash and dying at every given opportunity. So, but because that's an optional boss, I will skim past it and carry on with the main game and maybe come back to him at another point in time but I'm definitely going to keep him in my head that that is something I need to do uh, I'm going to get my XP but I've got to get my XP back off him though nah he's not worth it I don't have much <laughs> door is locked from the other side right okay this is just obstacle after obstacle here yeah basically if the difficulty is if it's too much I will um I really want to let me open that hollow map, will it? Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. <laughs> um, if it's... Hold on, BD1. I'm coming. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Hermit's abode. Well, okay. That, that, that wasn't very good graphically, but okay. Yeah. Okay, as I was saying, if I find it difficult to... Does your health not regen? No, it doesn't. This is like Dark Souls. When you get hit and it's like, oh, okay, I'm screwed now, basically. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Something. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Data bank updated force echo. Okay, tactical guide. What's a tactical guide? Ah, sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. Highly aggressive, tremendous speed, powerful stamina, and lightsaber resistant. Thanks for that. I feel much, you know, better about that. <laughs> Yeah, premium content. This is the skin I got for pre-ordering. And the Mantis is the ship. And then that's that would be the ship thingy I got for the um, pre-order. That's cool. Cool. I like some customization. The availability uh, is known as psychometric. I can receive information from the Force when he touches certain items. That's super cool. I like that. Oh, you can heal her, can't you? Oh, maybe not yet. Okay. Sorry, let's have away. I found it's left on the D-pad to sheath your lightsaber. Um, right. As I was saying, if the game, if I become, if I feel like the Let's Play is lacking in flow because I keep dying, okay. I will drop the difficulty down. But oh, wait, hurt himself. I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, <laughs> okay. He's adorable. He's adorable. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. God, yeah, because he's an engineer, isn't he? So he can obviously fix the and stuff. 
Okay. Try that. Oh, he's adorable. He's adorable. He's adorable. The vault. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay. Well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Oh, R3 customized lightsaber. Hello. Okay. Color blue, green, orange, premium content, green. I have a lightsaber. Basically, I have a Saber Forge lightsaber. I'll show you guys at some point. Actually, I'll show you guys now. Yeah, I'll show you now. Two seconds. Interestingly enough, it's sat in the background of every single one of my videos so far. But this basically is my, um, obviously I can't see the camera so I hope this is showing up well. This is my lightsaber, so it's a Saber Forge lightsaber and it looks actually not too dissimilar from, you can't see how, you can't see how I'm seeing it, I'll hold it like that maybe. It's not too dissimilar from that one actually, it's quite cool in that respect because it's got like this bit here, which is very similar to that lightsaber there, which is awesome, but I can obviously change what it looks like so i'll see if i can make it look even more like this um but that's super cool how it looks really similar um it's basically a saber forged combat lightsaber that like does all the lights and the flashy super stuff cool. it does all the lights and the flashy stuff um it's green favorite color uh, i won't ignite it but it's because it's going to be super loud but it's super cool uh it costs a lot of money i won't go into how much it costs because it costs a lot but i love it to absolute pieces um yeah that is my lightsaber that i absolutely love it, it it does have a blade but obviously the blade is just over there because you either have it with the blade in or you can have like a little um i'll show you just there a little Thing to put in it so you can display it but um which is super cool uh, obviously as i said massive star wars fan always have been um don't fall don't fall oh, yeah. um but let's have a look emitter oh, okay so that is where you change what it looks like at the front and i'm gonna leave it exactly as it is because i really like it looks a little similar to mine switch okay that's that bit um that one maybe looks more like mine sleeve that definitely looks more like mine if i do that to it material oh okay i know i was trying to make it look like mine but that looks super cool i'm gonna do that to it Toggle UI, okay, so I can see, right. That is super cool. The lightsaber customization I'm here for, I love that. It's green, uh, which is awesome. Uh, orange is cool, but uh, green's my favorite color, so it has to be green. Right. Is it gonna be, yeah. Oh, yes. I love that. I love that so much. What else we got here? That's awesome. So they're just lightsaber customization stations about, I guess, that you can... Do you remember you can find parts for your lightsaber? Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Tight fit, but this should work. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's super awesome. It's green now. I really like that. Um, oh, after examine, examine what? I thought it said examine just on something. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. Oh, uh, okay. Cool, let's keep it up then. Let's go and study these vines. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, not like that then. More like that, that's better. <laughs> and up here. Can I just cut things down? Yes, I can. I can just be destructive. Uh, right, let's go this way. Um... Ooh, he's yellow now. Yeah, 
I'm all right. What does that two mean? Heal. Healing oh. stem. You're full of surprises. <laughs> That's better. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. Oh. BD1 heals so, Kyle with the how'd you get here? Stim canisters. <laughs> Don't remember? I've never known a forgetful droid. Data Bank, Chapter 1, The Journey Begins. Oh, it tells the story. I love that. So, holo map opens the holo map. Oh, is that. Can you do that now? Ah, I'd argue with that. My back. What's that red thing? Blocked. You are now can access BD's holo map at any time. blocked is that where that guy was can I can I set markers no but I definitely need to like go back here which is really annoying that like 50% explored two there are two chests there are two secrets now you, you probably get annoyed at me here I'm playing on PC there's no trophies it's just there's nothing really I don't even think there's achievements which is my biggest um, issue with the game, with having a PC, I guess, and not a PlayStation, because I'm a sucker for being a completionist and platinum in the game. What I always do when I get a new game is um, look at uh, like a roadmap. I look, I, I like Google. Well, that's a bit. Weird. The lightsaber like, hey, just goes through the wall like that. Okay. Um, right, what we got going on here? Shortcut, shortcut unlocked. Oh, okay, so if I come back here, I don't have to go all the way around. So that suggests that we'll be coming back here, interestingly. Hey, a chest. I think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies. A chest? <laughs> what could be in a chest? Where are you going? <laughs> Something we can use? A new emitter acquired. Okay, so new, you can change lightsaber parts on. Ah, oh, that is cool, that is cool, that's cool, that's cool. Let's go see what this new emitter looks like then. That's when there's the shortcut. Don't fall behind me, one. Oh, just jumps on. Uh, customized lightsaber. Does it tell me when I've got something new? No. You know, cord of it. That looks like Obi Wan's lightsaber, that's quite cool. But I'm definitely just keeping the base emitter nice and quick and easy. Um, what was I gonna say? That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Ooh. Ooh. This is stunning. Is that two suns? Or is that the sun and the moon? I don't know. Um, but this planet is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Let's go. <laughs> The Great Divide. Woo. Okay, oh, it's like a Jedi Temple. You mapped everywhere we've been. Blocked. Available. Certain paths will be inaccessible to Cal until he possesses the right abilities. Switch elevations to highlight different areas of the map. New objective added to highlight. I can't map. make it over there. We gotta find another way. Okay, so I'm gonna assume uh, this is kind of confusing, but um, okay. There's an unexplored path right back at the start as well. Okay. Can you fast travel to the meditation points? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm getting a bit hopeful there. Okay. So this is interesting. It's a lot less linear than I initially expected. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels a lot less linear. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, chest. What we got? Is it just lightsaber parts you find? Or... I wonder what else you can find. Something was in there. New puncher material acquired. Okay.
Oh no, I don't like that. It looks like I'm like some kind of weird nurse or something. I don't know. Um, right. Cool. Cool. Right. A meditate point. That's where I say rest. Rest to restore life and force. Resting is not required to save your progress. That is what I need. Needed to know. Resting will respawn enemies. I don't need to rest, so that's fine. Um, but I am a bit like... This game is going to be a bit more difficult than I initially expected, I think. Because there's a lot of backtracking. I try and make it as... Ooh, what's this? This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Hmm. A tool used by a traveler who wanted to reach the mysterious vault. Okay. Anything? I guess he just tried digging his way through and it like collapsed on him. He did. Uh, right. Let's continue onward. chest up there that I just missed. Could I have jumped off that thing early? I don't know. Let's keep going around. Oh, another one of those things. Run for it. Run for it. Luck away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Am I supposed to be running away from it? Oh, wow. This combat's like not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Scan. Okay, I get like information about them. Easy to parry, avoid being surrounded. Huh. It does say run for it, which means I'm not supposed to fight them. This is kind of stressful, you know. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Like, I don't heal. I don't get to heal. He's blocking a path. There must be some... He's resistant to lightsabers, which makes me feel like there's another way of fighting him with a different weapon that I don't own yet or something. Thanks for the help. I'm really... <laughs> what, what did he even tell me? Hi, BD1. <laughs> Thanks for the help. What did he help me with? Did Just I miss anything? <laughs> Press R3 on it. Jump at it. Nope. Can I climb this? No. Maybe if I wait till I have more health I'll be able to take on that stupid frog thing. It says blocked, yeah. Does that mean I just can't go that way yet? It looks like I'm supposed to go... Available. That lift is available to take me back up to where I was. Okay, so that's just a blocked path. Does that just mean I can't get there until I've done something else? Oh, this game's confusing me a little bit now. Um, can I climb up here? No. This looks like something I should be able to climb, but I can't. And, am I supposed to be going up there? <laughs> like, that, to me, it looks like that's where I'm supposed to go. Like, like, this frog thing is here. I'm supposed to be going up here. That's an unexplored area. It looks like there's an easier way up around this way. But I can't do that yet. So does that mean I have to fight Frog Boy? I really hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> but it looks like I do, you know. Which means it may be a difficulty lowering time. Which is trash because I really didn't want to lower the difficulty. But I really am struggling with this Frog Boy. 
Unless I can just run. Unless run for it, literally need to run for it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I'm solving that problem. <laughs> Subterranean refuge, and that's the that's how you solve that problem. I'm gonna save, so I've saved there. That's my rest point. I'm gonna try and jump on this guy and like mess him up. Actually, that's a lie. No, I'm not. Again, this looks like something I should be able to get across, but I can't. I can't wall run yet. I assume that's what that is, wall running. If I like, if he kills me, it's all right because I can just. I need help. Okay, I can't stim pack just like that casually, like randomly. He's relentless. He's absolutely relentless. Okay, so far so good. I'm doing better than normal. I've got like more space to fight him in this time, that's why. Load him when he's doing an unbreakable attack. <sighs> right, one more time, one more time. I think I'll be able. I think I think I might be able to. You know. Oh yeah, all the enemies have respawned as well. All the ones makes life a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. Ah, right oh, I should be able to cut that tongue off. I should be able to. I'm gonna slow him next time. Next that tongue. Whoa! Ooh! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Right, and okay. and move, and move, and move. And move. Oh. And slow. You're forcing me to empty um, damage enemies to regain force. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. You know what? That wasn't too bad, you know. Scan. Whew. Tactical guide updated. An Agodo is a highly threatening alpha. Oh, you learn more interesting things about them as you like scan them or you encounter them. Okay. All right. Cool. Honestly, I think we'll end this episode here. Next episode, I might go back and fight that other one. Actually, you know what? I'll leave him for now, but I'll work my way around to him. Now I can heal and stuff as well. Like, I'm more equipped. I, I already feel more equipped to fighting it. Do you know what I mean? And, like, I might be able to, like, you know, I can meditate here, save. And, like, I gain the XP. Can I, like, farm him? Like, go and fight him again and then get more XP for killing him. And then come back up here, rest. Go back down. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't. I don't know. Skill tree. I have a skill point to spend before we end this episode. Honestly, I'm straight up going for maximum health because I feel like it's needed. <laughs> really needed. Um, yeah. Because his attacks are unblockable. Wait. That's the, are his attacks blockable? Am I just being like really bad at fighting him when I should be parrying his attacks and stuff? 
I think I'm just really bad at like learning the how to basically block stings. Uh, next time we get round to that area, I'm definitely gonna go back and fight that guy, fight the other thing because I've just killed this one. To be fair, I did get a drop attack from above on him, so that was a good start on his health. And then I had more maneuverability, maneuverable space as well. Maybe parrying is where I'm going wrong. I'm gonna go back and try and fight that other one at some point and do better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you leave a like, drop a comment down below, and just remind me of how bad I am at this game. Um, and subscribe if you haven't done already. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, let me know if there's anything you think I should switch up about the length of the episodes, the quality of like the sound. If there's any issues with that or just any sort of improvements at all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.